Hello YouTube, this is the boss from Noombergrade and here I'm here to show you how to script cards for Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. For the first part, we'll be adding the cards to Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, so that will be a little bit simpler than the next part. I myself have been scripting cards for a long time. I started last year, or in other words, 2016, February, March time. And I've done a lot of cards, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. I still don't know more of the complicated effects, but I'm here to teach you about the basics and possibly even the more complicated stuff so that you can do them yourself. What you will need to start doing these, you will need Lua Edit. This program is for scripting, uh, scripting the cards later. You can also use Notepad++ if you prefer it. I personally prefer Lua Edit. Then you will need SQLite Expert. Uh, do not download this trial version. Download this version instead. I have an older version since I haven't gotten around to updating my version, but this one should work just as well as the other one. Then you will need TCG Editor to make the cards. You can also use Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Maker Online, but I find this to be a little bit more on the safer side and it creates the images better. But this is just up to personal preference. What you will need to do to start is go into your Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro folder, wherever you've stored it, and go into, you should see a car, CDB like this after you've opened up SQLite, and copy and paste it into your expansion folder. Don't worry about all these other uh, things here. These are custom CDBs that I've gotten from my friends, so you don't need to worry. Open up your cards.cdb. Now that you open it, you if this is the first time you've opened SQLite, you probably have a tutorial database here. You can just close it. You don't need to worry about it. Now the important part, I was talking about copying it from the main folder, is that once you copy it into the expansion folder, you're not affecting the normal database of cards, since this cards.cdb basically has every single card that, uh, that's in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, and it's not in beta testing currently. So, we need to clear this one out, so just Ctrl A, select everything, and delete them. This will take a little bit of time. After you've emptied it, and there are no texts in here, you go into Datas, and do the same thing in here. Select all, and delete all records. And this will again take a little, little bit of time. After you've deleted them all, both datas and text should be empty. Now why did we empty this database? Is because if you start editing this with all the other cards, it will become messy, you might affect how Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro's cards work. So just copy pasting uh, the old cards into uh, your expansion folder and then editing that one by deleting all the old records, you're not affecting the current Yu-Gi-Oh! card pool and you don't have the risk of deleting every single card that you hold dear. Now, you can close this database, go back into your expansion folder, and now you can name your cards.cdb anything you want, such as my custom cards. Just be sure that when you're naming this file, uh, no one else has the same name since, again, just namesake. You can just leave it as my custom cards, no one probably makes it by that name. And if you're sharing them with friends, just make sure that they're all by different names. Then you would open my custom cards, or whatever you've named it to. Now you will see that the cards that CDB that we uh, edited earlier is right here, but you can just close it. Um, SQLite opens up all the databases by one, even if you change the name it won't detect that you changed the name and it will say that this is an invalid database, so just close the database. Now you can go into texts, we start with text, press insert record, the plus icon and double click it open. Now ID is the card number that you're gonna use. Card number can be found in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, so you would then go to deck edit and search for the card number that you want to use. For example, we could use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Now we see that this card is not in use in any card. Since we see that this card is not in use, you can also uh, you can safely use it for Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Uh, another method that you might want to use is if you want to search it in the Pix folder with the same number or the script folder. Um, you can also check for if nine is well apparently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is in use, so you can't use that. Two cards can't have the same number. So you would then put the card number in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Name of the card can be anything. For example, Link. A good card name. Oh, for, don't put tabs in here. Then description. Basically, the effect text. This can be, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. This card gains 200 attack for each warrior type monster in your graveyard. Simple. Now, then you would put a space into each one of these strings. There are 16 strings and you need to have a space in each one of them unless you want to have your Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro crash every time you open it. So just space, 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 space. I will go into more te detail later on how these strings work, but for now just have a space in each one of them and press OK. After that is done, you would go into Datas and press plus again, choose here, you put the ID, same as before, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is to connect the card with the one in the text. OT is 1, would be TCG, 2 would be OCG, 3 would be TCG slash OCG, 4 would be anime, and I think 5 is custom. This is where uh, which ban list or which area your card belongs to, but just for the sake of it, let's press 3, it's gonna be a TCG OCG card. Alias is the, if this card shares a name or in this case it's code with another card such as all the harpy ladies or the different cards are, card arts of blue eyes. There are six different card arts for blue eyes but you can only use three in your deck. So since this is not anything like that we can just put this as zero. Set code is the archetype code for the card like Genex, Clifford, Shadow, anything like that. This can be anything you want really, but usually it would be best to look up on what different archetypes have different set codes so that you're not putting a Clifford set code in here and then you're special summoning Cliffords from the deck. No, we don't want that. So uh, if you don't have any set code, you don't have any archetype made, just put this as zero. Type is what type of a monster it is, or a spell, trap, quick play, continuous, etc. These can all be found on the site here it has all the types listed out here spell trap effect monster etc and this would be an effect monster 33 with an attack of 1700 defense of 1400 level 4 race we could say it's a warrior warrior is one then attribute we go back here mm, let's say a wind yeah and we go eight wind Category is the category search that you use for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. I can show it to you quickly. If you go into effect search right here with this button, you can search cards that have something related to drawing, searching, hand destruction. I don't know. I personally don't never use this because it's I just use card text to search for cards. So if you find it necessary, you can use this. Otherwise, just leave this as zero. You really don't need it. Now card art is simple to make. Just open up TCG editor, choose what type of monster you want, effect, of course in this case, attribute win, there you go, title, link, style, if you want to be fancy you can choose one of these but it won't really show in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Then artwork file, it will uh, resize it to fit the little white square in here, but since I don't have any artwork right now, I'll leave this as blank. Description, again, monster effect, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. This card 
gains 200 attack for each warrior type in your graveyard. There we go. Now level is, you can change it here, but it will be 4. You could click here if you want to make it the pendulum, so it would have both the uh, above and below text, but we're just making a normal monster. So then it would be, you could press plus here, it's a warrior. This is how the car li things are listed here, warrior effect. This could also have warrior synchro effect or something like that, but these are, you should know these from normal cards that you have. Then attack, 1700, 1400 defense, edition, limited, first dead, unlimited, card set, ASD, card number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, limitation. If you want to mess around with these, go ahead, but there's no really need. Then, once you're done with the card, press render card, save it into a place you know where to find it, such as the desktop and save it as a JPEG. This is because Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro only detects JPEGs uh, for normal cards and for the field spell image that you see when you play field spell cards, that for, that's P PNG, but we'll get to that later. Save it as the card name, this one, and save. Then you can choose if you want to have the quality changed, but if you want to mess around with this, you're free to do so. Press OK. Then close this, this, and open the card in a text uh, picture editor, such as Paint. Paint is the normal. And you need to change its size in points, just uh, such as 177256. This is a pretty standard uh, dimension that I have for cards. If you leave it as the big one that you had before, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro will size the card differently and it will look really buggy and it will look really bad on your Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. So size it yourself because Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro will do it for you. After you've done that, you choose the card image, copy, go into your Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro's Pix folder and paste it there. And there you have it. Now you can go into Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro so now in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, you can go into Deck Edit, search for the card number or card name, such as Link, and you could find Link right there. Now that I've shown you how to add cards to the CDP, in the next part I'll show you how to script these cards, but I'll see you about that later.